Hey there, hope you're doing well. I've got a coaster I put a couple of ounces in over here. Uh, this was something I poured in a previous video and it's about a quarter inch thick and it's a resin piece. And uh, I've got this beautiful large flower mold that's like 13 inches or something like that. And I'm putting this here just to weight the, the mandala thing down and I'm going to pour some clear resin. Sparkle Miner's Gold. Pure gold. Alcohol ink. Black diamond purple mica powder. Order two of lavender Let's Resin Pearlized Pigment. One is uh, Primary Elements Jasmine by Color Art. Beautiful. A little bit of Let's Resin Silver Pink, which is a kind of a red, kind of a red color. And a drop of uh, magenta alcohol ink or two. This one I'm going to do the Navajo uh, by this in Petra's uh, Etsy shop. This is uh, Ocean Green. I'm alcohol ink. I'm going to put a drop or two of that. It came out fast. Add a little bit more. And I'm going to put a drop of Baja Blue Alcohol Ink. This last one will be Black Diamond Iridescent Blue. Put up a little bit of Blitz Resin Sapphire Blue. Some uh, bright gold crushed glass bits. I'm gonna do a kind of a floral pattern um, with these, but they need to be warm in order for it to not really sink sink so I'm going to mix up another I don't know um, 
three, three to five ounces while I'm waiting. So it's been about 30 minutes on all these colors. Ideally, I would have liked to have put them in a piping bag, but I don't know if I'd have time to do all that, so. But it's been 30 to 35 minutes since I finished mixing it. And you get a better bloom flower type effect the longer you wait before it turns to plastic. So I'm going to just try to pour these instead of piping it like I typically do. See, it comes out thicker too. You can't have you don't have as much control.
Anillo. So I'm going to pour a little bit of resin down here and coat the acrylic paint that I did on top of that. This is oil paint around the edges, so I'm not worried about that, but I am going to put a coat in the, in the bottom. And um, it's got some pretty effects on the sides. See the detail. And it's um, three to four inches deep, let's say. I love it. It didn't come out the way I had envisioned, but it's still beautiful nonetheless. Um, this is unusual. Because I poured it from the plastic beakers and not a piping bag, I know that that's why so much of it's settled, but it still has a folded over dimensional feel that is very interesting so it's kind of pretty you know it's its own individual little coaster and apparently I laid it down on the top side and overnight and it there's a little bit of texture to it so I'm gonna have to put a flood coat of resin on top so I may go around the edge with something dimensional 
like purple or something and then flood coat it and, and have that help me kind of build up that ridge there. Um, and then the back side is pretty but you know not as interesting. So, And then this one is just um, you know it was leftover resin so it's nothing to write home about. It's pretty though. I'll um, I don't know. I might embellish this one a little bit too and put another coat of resin on one of the sides. So if I do, I'll show pictures at the end. Thank you so much.